Welcome to match seven in round eight of the CCSL, where we have Little Mac on the road against King Dedede. Now, King Dedede is the top contender for the Azure division, and Little Mac is looking to regain that title from Falco. Currently doing a lot better than I expected that he probably would, as Little Mac needs to be up close and personal, and DDD is pretty good at zoning. Up smash, not going to do anything from DDD. DDD up at 122%. Little Mac off the right hand side of the screen. That's going to be way too deep for him to recover. And despite getting a high percentage lead, he's going to find himself needing to fight back even harder. Dash attack in, manages to get around that Gordo. Gets the pummel, the forward throw. Downward smash, not going to do anything, but the up smash is going to finish DDD's first stock, and we are even stockwise. DDD favoring that dash attack as it's a favored killing move of his. And Little Mac wasting his up B recovery and is again at a stock deficit. Lost that lock at a very low, that stock at a very low percent, unfortunately. Little Mac needing to switch up his gameplay a little bit if he wants to stay viable. Eating some hits from that Gordo. Gets the dashing attack there. DDD connects with another Gordo, sucks it back up on man and does not manage to get any extra damage on the return. But that Gordo is going to give Little Mac his KO punch. The down smash is going to send King DDD off to the right hand side. He makes it back to ledge. And Little Mac whiffs the KO punch. Could be his win condition. He may not live to see another one. Little Mac makes it back to stage. DDD makes it back to ledge. And the Gordo inhale is going to finish Little Mac's stock. King DDD winning with a two stock advantage. Previously undefeated Little Mac, despite having five wins, is now suffering three losses back to back. And uh, that's just got to be a nasty deficit to try and fight back from. But King DDD remains on top of the Azure division and has a quite commanding display and is making a very fair playoff bid, as, uh, to be sure, as well. But let's check over to our final match of round eight, match eight, where Pikachu faces off against Lucario, a Pokemon battle of the ages. Three, two, and here we are in round eight, match eight of the CCSL with Pikachu on the road against Lucario. Now, Pikachu had a very slow, sluggish start to his season, but picked up four really quick victories in his last four matchups. As a matter of fact, if he can pick up a win today, there will be a four-way tie for the first place position on the Obsidian team, as each character will be at a 5-2... No, <laughs> just kidding. But Pikachu will be in a good position if he is able to pick up a win today. Actually, no, it will be a 5-3. But Lucario is uh, not doing super great as he eats an F smash there from Pikachu. And uh, Pikachu staying at a decently low percentage. Lucario... He can be scary, but he's just not capitalizing or hasn't found a way to capitalize in really any of his matchups so far, which is kind of sad to see. Pikachu zoning quite nicely with his attacks. Manages to pull Lucario back down from the up E recovery with the down B thunder. 
gets a forward aerial on Lucario. Lucario now at 80%. This is where the aura really starts to kick in. Manages to get a couple more attacks in on Pikachu. The downwards aerial gets some more damage onto Pikachu. Percent's about even. Pikachu with the back throw, not going to be enough. Chooses to use the Skull Bash as a recovery move to get back onto the stage. Lucario zoning, looking for a killing option. Pikachu connects on the Nair. And the fully charged Aurasphere is going to dispatch a Pikachu's first stock. Lucario needs to capitalize on whatever damage he can before Pikachu takes the next stock. And seems to be doing so. Pikachu manages to just bait out the counter there from Lucario, but does not capitalize on any killing move, which is something that Pikachu can struggle with. Gets the backwards aerial there, and the downwards aerial is going to send Lucario off to the right-hand side, and that will be unrecoverable. Pikachu nearing 100% on his second stock. You can tell that this is a male Pikachu because he has the flat tail. Pikachu managing to avoid Lucario decently well, but that's not going to win the matchup as Pikachu does need to get more damage in, especially before Lucario manages to take the second stock here. Skull Bash, that's uh, some damage that could be quite in influential. Downwards Aerial onto Shield, decently safe uh, attack there. Lucario, Lucario at 69%, nice. Uh, finds himself off the right-hand side of the stage again. Pikachu recovering. Lucario trying to cheese out some damage with the upwards recovery, the extreme speed. Pikachu with the up throw. Lucario makes it back. Pikachu with the grab out of shield, the back throw, not going to be enough. Doesn't connect on the down air. That would have been it for Lucario's final stock. Pikachu sends Lucario off to the left-hand side. Not going to be enough, though. Manages to negate the extreme speed. Gets the back throw again. Lucario at 170. 169, actually. And the down air is going to dispatch a Pikachu's second stock. Lucario is furious. Got to be very cautious of the attacks that he's throwing out at this point. Pikachu needs to find a killing option or he's going to find himself out. Connects on the downwards aerial. The Skull Bash not going to be enough. Lucario at 200%. This is terrifying grounds for Pikachu. Any move such as that Aris Filler will kill. And Lucario picks up a second win in this season. Not something that we expected. And Pikachu, well, he will fall a little bit further behind in his bid behind the other combatants in the Obsidian Division. We'll be back tomorrow with another matchup. The matchup starting round nine as we move into the final matches uh, in the division play. So make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on all videos. And you have yourself a great rest of your day.